हाय आई एम अंशुल आप सब ने सुना होगा दैट इफ यू एजुकेट अ मैन यू एजुकेट एन इंडिविजुअल बट इफ यू एजुकेट अ वुमेन यू एजुकेट अ फैमिली महात्मा गांधी सेट दिस एंड दिस प्रोवर्ब वॉज फर्दर मैग्निफाइड बाय एफ्रीकन वट दिस सेट इफ यू एजुकेट अ मैन यू एजुकेट एन इंडिविजुअल बट इफ यू एजुकेट अ वुमेन यू एजुकेट एन एंटायर नेशन सो दिस इज द लेडी हु टूक बर्थ ऑन इंडियन सॉइल on 3rd january 1831 savitri bai phule in sataras naigaon she was the first teacher who thought about women's education who thought about depressed classes and who thought about social justice and equality so let's see what are her contributions how her life unfolds savitri bai phule got married at a tender age of 9 with jyotiba phule you might be knowing about him through his contributions as a social reformer by his institution satya shodhak samaj jyotiba and jyotiba and savitri bai they started a school in maharashtra's pune in 1848 that is the first school for girls education in india to be operated by indians and they had lot of problems operating this school they had problems like social ostracization what does it mean when savitri bai used to go to teach people used to th- throw stones mud cow dung and what not she used to carry two sarees wo do saree leke jaane lagi ki ek agar kharab hoti to main usko remove karke dusri pehen ke but my conviction to teach should not be like disturb isliye in pe mujhe ek baat yaad aati hai ki मंजिलें उन्हीं को मिलती है जिनके सपनों में जान होती है पंखों से कुछ नहीं होता हौसलों में उड़ान होती है इनके हौसले बहुत बुलंद थे जिसकी वजह से भारत में आ, सामाजिक चेतना का पुनर्जागरण हुआ यू नो दे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टुवर्ड्स नॉट ओनली एजुकेशन देर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू लिस्ट नाउ सी she gave a clarion call go get education to the depressed classes the marginalized the most oppressed dalits ati dalit ati shudras right you must read this be self reliant be industrious work gather wisdom and riches all gets lost without knowledge we become animal without wisdom sit idle no more go get education and misery of the oppressed and forsaken you have got a golden chance to learn so learn and break the chains of caste throw away the brahmin scriptures fast this is what she said because brahminical scriptures at that time were not allowing women and the dalits to study not only social ostracization i must tell you one interesting thing jyotiba phule his father got lot of pressure from people that they are committing a sin ye paap kar rahe hain ladkiyon ko padha ke and in 1849 jyotiba was asked to leave the house and then he reached to usman sheik usman sheik ke this is the house sorry this is the school which they opened now it in it is in not a good shape dilapidated condition we can see it but yes this was the school which was started by them in the usman sheik's house Savitri Bai met the uh, Fatima Sheikh. Who is Fatima Sheikh? This lady. She is considered to be the first women teacher of India. Savitri Bai encouraged her that you need to read, and they both got teachers training and they started teaching kids along with one more industrious lady, Saguna Bai. Now let's see what are the contributions of Savitri Bai Phule. Number one. she is a trail blazer she is a trail blazer or pioneer of women's education why because her unparalleled contribution for school education towards girl child is extraordinary and unimaginable at that time number 2 she promoted education for untouchables the ati shudras the dalits number 3 she made lot of eff- uh, a lot of commitments for empowering women let me give you two three sub pointers number 1 she created a mahila seva mandal in 1852 to 
create awareness about the women's right sub point to under it like she created an instrumental mechanism of teachers training so that more people will come and join their initiative you know one important fact i must tell you 1852 there was a newspaper pune observer what it said that british officials became very scary that this lady along with jyotiba and their more friends have 10 times more students than the government schools and if and their teaching was very extraordinarily modern how they were teaching social science science maths which were not being taught there so they were actually breaking the shackles and they were really ahead of their times during 1852 apart from this she created bal hatya pratibandhak grah it is like a home for prevention of uh, infanticide let me give you a brief about it if a lady got raped and she conceives then there was one incident when a brahmin lady got raped and she got conceived and then she killed that child and because of that unko andaman mein jail ho gayi thi so they said you need not to kill the child because rape is a crime done by that perpetrator he should be ashamed of you are not so they created a lot of shelters orphanage child home they all helped in empowering the women now number 4 point they created a satya shodhak samaj i mean savitri bai phule and jyoti bai phule in 1873 which talked about multiple things civil liberties education for women in total they wanted a just society she was a lady of extraordinarily courage you can see that she worked towards eliminating child marriage she encouraged widow remarriage that time it was a taboo she even asked people to have intercaste marriages she was totally against this sati and dowry system although in 1829 abolition of sati act came but the practices were there still right and last but not the least she broke all the shackles when in 1890 jyoti ba phule died she lit the funeral pyre against the convention that a male should do 1893 mein pune ke paas ek jagah saswad municipality choti si वहां पे सत्य शोधक समाज का राष्ट्रीय अधिवेशन हुआ एंड शी चेयर्ड इट इवन इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस टुक 1917 व्हेन एनी बेसेंट वाज द फर्स्ट लेडी टू हेड दैट सो दिस वाज द एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी जर्नी ऑफ दिस लेडी हु वाज वे अहेड दिस इज द मेमोरियल इफ यू विजिट सतारा प्लीज गो एंड सी एंड दीज आर द टू जेंटल सोल्स हु डिड नॉट लिव फॉर देम देयर करेज देयर रेजिलियंस देयर कमिटमेंट their compassion and love for humanity is worth embracing and remembering you know savitri bai phule how she died serving to the humanity 1896 mein maharashtra has famine famine 1896 maharashtra has famine she worked there and 1897 like all we have saw covid 19 recently that time bubonic plague was there and she got information that one boy is suffering and nobody is taking care of she got that boy on her shoulders and that caught her bubonic plague and she died so that is the story of extraordinary lady savitri bai phule we all must remember and embrace you all can use this information in your essay paper paper 1 and obviously wherever you like god bless